Hello everyone and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Industries worldwide continue to pursue ways of going green and reducing carbon emissions. One of the most surprising of these is the aviation industry, including multiple air forces. The ability to move through the air has done phenomenal things for the security of our nation. If we can find new ways of doing that, one, it, it's, it's not just a national security capability, but right, it literally lifts us up uh, and lifts us up as a force. If there is an entirely new way of doing mobility in the air, we have to be in the middle of that. We, we have to make sure that we understand what the implications are. We have to see how we build that as a capability for our Department of the Air Force. While it's true that militaries tend to put a strong focus on performance over energy efficiency, recent advancements in civilian aircraft technology are convincing commanders that electric aircraft can offer them significant advantages. Traditional airplane jet engines are internal combustion engines which burn fossil fuels to produce thrust. While effective, they contribute significantly to carbon emissions and environmental pollution. They also require thousands of gallons of fuel to be stored or transported wherever they operate. Electric plane engines function using electric motors powered by batteries. This translates into zero emissions, lower operating costs, and minimal fuel requirements. They are also hybrid engines, which combine the traditional jet engine with electric propulsion. While the idea of electric aircraft may seem futuristic, like the electric car, the concept dates back much further than many expect. One of the pioneers behind this technology is Rolls-Royce, a renowned British engineering company known primarily for its high-end power systems and engines. In 2021, the company introduced the ACCEL model, which stands for Accelerating the Electrification of Flight. Officially referred to as the spirit of innovation, the small engine aircraft represents a significant development in the field of electric aviation. Indeed, Rolls-Royce aimed to demonstrate not just the environmental benefits of electric propulsion, but also its performance capabilities. Therefore, they tasked the spirit of innovation with setting a new world speed record for electric flight. In September 2021, the plane reached a top speed of 386 miles per hour and sustained 348 miles per hour for a distance of 3,000 feet, earning it a place in the Guinness Book of World Records. While the spirit of innovation is impressive, it doesn't have a lot of military potential as of yet. However, the United States Air Force recently introduced its first all-electric aircraft, Beta's ALIA. Beta is a U.S.-based aerospace manufacturer specializing in electric vertical takeoff and landing concepts.
Lockheed's most impressive model is the ALIA-250, a unique passenger plane with four top-facing lift rotors and a rear propulsion rotor. The sleek, stripped-down aircraft is capable of traveling 250 nautical miles on a one-hour charge. It can also carry six passengers and loads of up to 6,000 pounds, while traveling at an average speed of 168 miles per hour. Though it may be some time before the U.S. military has electric bombers and fighter aircraft, it utilizes modern electric technology as often as possible. We fly ALEA on a flight test campaign at zero emissions through the tailpipe, which is pretty remarkable. You can do things in a way that's uh, both commercially viable and sustainable. They're not mutually exclusive. Like at the end of the day, we see this partnership as an opportunity to serve the members of the Air Force and to make us a better product and, and, and ultimately help us uh, be commercially successful uh, along the way. Many airbases now feature remote controlled, all electric airplane tugs. Keep coming right on, right on. Yeah. These powerful devices have the potential to drastically cut down on manpower and fuel usage by helping to tow planes around hangars and taxi areas. Best of all, they are much more compact than traditional gas-powered tugs. Beta Technologies, the creator of the A250, has recently emerged as a global leader in electric-powered aerospace technologies. It is one of just many private companies that contract with the United States Air Force to introduce new aircraft and vehicle concepts for a wide range of purposes. The focus on electric propulsion is a hallmark of Beta's approach and aligns with the aviation industry's turn toward more sustainable and environmentally friendly technologies. Electric Vertical Takeoff and Landing, or EVTOL, technology has been experiencing significant growth in recent years. One of the vehicles most likely to see this type of use is the HEXA aircraft from Lyft. Its unique design resembles a large drone rather than a traditional aircraft, and it is specifically designed to be easy to fly. In fact, while it can be piloted manually, the HEXA is primarily designed for autonomous flight. Its 18 electric rotors allow it to take off and land smoothly while moving through the air upright with minimum G-forces applied to the occupant. The HEXA is aimed at the recreational market rather than commercial urban air mobility. However, the United States military has expressed a lot of interest in the aircraft due to its potential for silent, rapid movement of personnel and equipment.
It's true that the main focus of the EV tall industry is the civilian marketplace. For decades, people of all backgrounds have discussed the potential for flying cars. And while the vision of what these vehicles might look like has changed over the years, EV tall aircraft are proving to be the most likely candidates. One of the companies at the forefront of this movement is Joby Aviation. Like Lyft, Joby is particularly well known for its work in the EV tall sector. It was founded in California in 2009 and immediately went to work on the concept of urban air mobility, which aims to provide a fast, efficient, and sustainable mode of air transportation for crowded urban environments. The company's S4 is reported to have a range of up to 150 miles on a single charge, with a top speed of around 200 miles per hour. It is designed to carry four passengers and a pilot. Most importantly, the S4 is easy to fly and offers unparalleled safety due to Joby's close work with the FAA. While traveling to and from work in an electric aircraft may seem like a distant dream to many people, Joby Aviation doesn't think so. The company has already commenced the production of its first few production conforming aircraft at its pilot facility in Marina, California. The Marina facility capable of manufacturing dozens of aircraft per year, is completely state-of-the-art, using everything from 3D printing technology to automated assembly lines to produce various parts and components for the aircraft. The company recently announced the development of its first large-scale eVTOL aircraft production facility in Dayton, Ohio. The facility will be located at Dayton International Airport and cover over 140 acres. With a cost of up to $500 million, it's clear that Joby is very confident that their technology will be adopted on a wide scale very soon. Both public and private organizations have taken a deep interest in what Joby Aviation is doing. In fact, NASA invited the company to bring its prototype to its Advanced Air Mobility National Campaign event in 2021. During this event, the teams used a series of more than 50 microphones to investigate just how loud or quiet the company's aircraft are. The way Joby sees it, this would likely play a big role in how well the public would adapt to the idea of urban air mobility. During the test, the microphones analyzed Joby's eVTOL during takeoff, hover, and overhead flight. Joby has invested millions of dollars into making sure their new aircraft would be flyable by pilots and non-pilots alike. Joby also designed a comprehensive simulator with the help of aviation experts. The 
the aircraft has its own unified control design, which doesn't require the use of both hands and feet like a helicopter. They've also managed to incorporate a wide degree of shortcuts into the controls that make flying and landing a safe, secure, and simple process. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.